Hello children, this is our maths class. In today's maths class, we will do vertical subtraction with borrowing. Now let's look at some examples. We have 15 minus 4. Children, first we will subtract the 1's place followed by 10's place. Alright, in 1's place we have 5 minus 4. So 5 minus 4 is 1. And in tens place, we have only one number, so it will remain same in tens place. So, 15 minus 4 is 11. Next example, we have 13 minus 0. Children, as we all know, 0 means nothing. So, 13 minus 0 will remain 13 itself. Next, we have 14 minus 10. In one's place, we have 4 minus 0, which means 4 minus nothing. Therefore, it will remain same number. So, we will put 4 in one's place. And in tens place, we have 1 minus 1. Children, if you minus 1 by same number, it will become 0. So, 14 minus 10 is 4. In next example, we have 12 minus 7. In one's place, we have 2 minus 7, but children, 2 is smaller than 7. And hence, we cannot subtract 2 by 7. So, what shall we do now? We shall borrow from 10's place. Now, if we borrow from 10's place, 2 will become 12. So, 2 has become 12 now. And in 10's place, we will cross out 1 and it will become 0. So children, 12 minus 7 is how much? 12 minus 7 is 5. Now next we have 15 minus 6. In 1's place we have 5 minus 6. But since 5 is smaller than 6, we will pour from 10's place. If you pour from 10's place, 5 will become 15. So 15 minus 6 will be how much? 15 minus 6 will be 9. Therefore, children, 15 minus 6 is 9. Now, next example, we have 21 minus 9. In one's place, we have 1 minus 9, but 1 is smaller number, so we will pour from 10's place. If you pour from 10's place, 1 will become 11. And in 10's place, 2 will become 1. So, in one's place, 11 minus 9 will be 2. And in 10's place, 1 will remain same. So, 21 minus 9 is 12. Alright? In the last example, we have 12 minus 12. Children, if we minus same numbers, the answer will always remain 0. Alright? So, children, 12 minus 12 is how much? 12 minus 12 is 0. Alright?